literally just arrived. We're going to go ahead and open it and see how it looks. This is actually my first guppies. I've never actually owned any prior to this. And I uh, figured, hey, if I'm going to get them, might as well get from a good source, right? So let's see. Uh, yes, oh, this is the food. I actually ordered some of their food. Um, try it out. I didn't have any fish food. Uh, let's see how this, if I can do this with one hand. Let's see. Packing's all good. Everything seems to be good. Let's see. Let's see how everything is in there. I actually ordered um, the Koi Tuxedo Fry. Uh, I like the way they look, and it's I know it's not the typical huge tails, but hey, I really like the way these are. So, let's see. Looks like everything's moving in there. So, let's see the rest. I actually wasn't sure what was better, to get the trio or to get the fry. I figured with the fry at least I have a better chance because I have more, you know. If I mess something up with the adults, there would only be three and uh, yeah, that would not be fun if I lost them right away. So these are four. Uh, oh, they're so tiny. Okay, they're right there really small I was like the heck I thought it was an empty bag all right so this one's good let me see if I can make room real quick I don't want to shake them too much but I also want to make sure we get them all out and uh, you know get them prepped for their new home I actually am going to try a outdoor tub uh, that's also a first go. Um, everyone says that the outdoor tubs tend to do better. I haven't tested this. So literally everything is going to be new. Fish, tub, everything. We'll see. We'll see how everything goes. But hey, you gotta hope for the best, right? Let's see. This is... Four more of the tuxedo fry. Let's see. Can't really count them. Let me see. One, two, three. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna have to check once I'm done filming. Like actually get a really good look at it. I think he said he's. Uh, I ordered 15, but I believe he said he sent uh, 17. In case any DOAs. This bag is actually really wet. Uh, hopefully we don't have a tear. I believe there should have been an ice pack in here somewhere just because of my weather being actually kind of hot. So let's see. I don't see any leaks or anything. Maybe it's just the ice pack. That's why it's all wet. But these are also red tuxedo fry I didn't get anything else yet like I said maybe once I have success with these I will go ahead and try something else but for now I figured focus on one thing and and then go from there all right so I will go float them and I'll show you guys where they'll be living I brought them outside it's actually just a tub I have like I said outside and um, they've been floating there for a little bit and let's see if I can get a good look at them. You can kind of see them swimming in there. So, this tub, I actually set it up. Uh, I got these plants to... Um, oh wow, what's the name? Hyacinths, the water hyacinths. Set it up, I used a cycled sponge filter, hooked it up, I actually added a little bit of crushed coral. Um, that's pretty much what everybody recommended, and that's what I'm going to go with. 
the water is not too soft but I figured hey can't hurt to have a little bit extra in there uh, once I have them out I will be able to see how they react to the water and everything uh, it's, like I said it's been it's been running for over a week or so week and a half and um, I don't think the bio load will be too bad because of their size so I was actually expecting a little bit larger but that is what fries look like so if anything it'll be good because as they grow the tank should actually or the tub should cycle with them if it hasn't already but let's see if I can get a good look at some of the others Let's go ahead and see how they go. Let's just make sure there's none stuck to the edge. I don't see any. I'll double check afterwards. Oh yeah, I added some lava rock from a cycled tank and um, should just add some extra media. Uh, as you can see, there's already small bugs floating in the top of the water. They actually had pretty decent amount of color in them. Some some of them are already showing some of the red. And see you can actually see that one has already some of the red on the tail. I'm guessing it might be some of the males and stuff. But seem to be doing good. I'm gonna keep checking them of course and um, plan on doing maybe 50% water changes weekly just to make sure the water is perfect for them and that everything goes well and I'll go ahead and start using the uh, I won't feed them today probably wait a day and then feed them the food that I purchased that came with them I actually got from Guppy Train I also actually added the two that looked like they weren't gonna make it so I figured they're so small that even if they don't it should not cause an ammonia spike and um, maybe they'll make it who knows I don't know I figured I'd give them a chance before I just go ahead and toss them worst case scenario they don't so I have a second tub directly below it I plan on doing the females in one males in the other and then pick out the best and breed from there you know all right so I'll see you guys next time